Taurus. What up, what up, what up? Okay, so, what had happened was, I had X spirit, what zodiac sign should I do a read for? Because I always ask. And spirit said, do a read for the sign of Taurus. I said, okay. What, what messages you got for Taurus? Because I be wanting to know. Because I'm a Taurus rising. And sometimes when you listen to readings, your rising sign resonates more than your sun sign. So, my sun sign is Aries. So, I always tell people I'm a Taurus. But, um, we're going to see what's going on with you, Taurus. All right. Okay. I think I'm going to, um, yeah. Spray some good energy spray. I make that, by the way. I make a lot of stuff, okay? All right. Let's see what y'all got going on, Taurus. This spirit wants y'all to know around up in here. I've been feeling cards sticking a lot today. So I think a lot of people are feeling stuck. But I think it's the Libra full moon energy still kind of lingering around a little bit. So fret not. It'll be over soon. All right. So we have a six of swords. I'm using my goddess cards today. Because I'm just feeling like spirit got messages for people who are gods and goddesses. Kings and queens today. Okay. But we got the six of swords. So, think about making a move, Taurus. Thinking about making a move. You might not want everybody to know about this move that you're making. You might even say it ain't that none of their damn business. But <laughs> you're thinking about making a move nonetheless. The six of swords usually can be kind of like sneaky kind of energy, but I'm really not feeling like sneaky energy from this card right now. It's just like you're making a move. You decide to make a move. You're making this move in silence. Pretty much. You're making this move in silence. I said a card sticking there. Alright. A hundred and fifty of them to come out together. <clears throat> so it would make sense that you think about making a move if you've been feeling like you've been stuck about something. see what I feel from it. Yeah, you think about making a move and walking away from some bullshit where you can be more comfortable, you can be more at ease. Whatever situation that you are leaving, you might be sneaking off from a motherfucker. You might be, might be ghosting somebody. I don't know. But you're leaving this situation behind because it has not made you comfortable in the past. It might have made you suspicious of somebody. You're getting bad vibes from this. The fool. Yep. You might have felt like a damn fool. <laughs> but this is like you want to go towards some kind of new beginning with Something, perhaps someone. But yeah, 
whatever the situation is, you ready to leave that other bullshit behind. And, you know, it's just, you know, it just hasn't been, the past situation just hasn't been good. It might be some that it might be something that well that kind of happened um, firmly in the past, like in the past, past. But what you're moving on to is something totally better. Okay, it's not gonna make you feel like a damn fool, or this person ain't gonna make you feel like a fool for wanting them or being with them or whatever it may be. Yeah, the ten of ten of ones. So yeah, this was burdensome to you. Okay. This situation that you are leaving was burdensome to you. This might be your own goddamn thoughts. This might be your own ways. Okay? Because Taurus is a fixed sign. Now, I know y'all hear people say y'all stubborn. But it ain't about y'all being stubborn. It's just that when you're a fixed person, you're used to doing shit a certain kind of way. But... I'm kind of feeling like because you kind of, you're looking at stuff in a, another perspective right now. Like I'm used to, you thinking I'm used to doing this in a certain kind of way. But I'm used, I'm seeing that doing it in this way is not getting me different results. So I need to change this shit up a little bit. What well, this situation is, has not been revealed yet, but I'm feeling it could be a relationship, and it could not be. Let's see. We got judgment. So, yeah, you can decide that whatever it was that was going on before ain't benefiting your ass. You let it go. Then you got the three of um, pentacles. So, whatever it is ain't benefiting your pockets. It ain't benefiting your goddamn life. So, you like, hey, it's time to be feed. It's time to go. Okay. a job. I'm feeling like it's a job for somebody. This is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everybody, but I'm feeling like it's a job. What you leaving? Yeah, we got the six of swords. I meant the six of ones. No, what is the seven? Yeah. So, yeah, you've been beating off some shit. You've been finding some stuff back. Okay? And, um... You're tired of it. Pretty much, Taurus, you're tired of this shit. I'm feeling some tired-ass energy in this ring. you like, I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm finna leave this shit, and I feel like it's a job. If it's a relationship, your ass ain't going back, because you <laughs> it feel like you're pretty tired. Like, man. I just can't do this no more. Feeling like you stuck. Damn. Well, I'm going to take them because they flipped out like hell. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. We have the Eight of Swords, which is about being stuck. I just see there's some stuck energy around here. Y'all feel like y'all stuck in this situation. And y'all sick of the King of Swords, you know for a fact, it is your truth and it is that you are definitely thinking about this tremendously. That is on your mind that you tired of shit. I don't know. The hangman on the bottom of the deck, you feeling like you've been restricted in this situation. Like this situation, if it's a job, it's not letting you grow. Well, the wheel of fortune is turning. That was a little freaky, but hey, the wheel of <laughs> the wheel of fortune is turning. Um, so you won't be what what in this situation too much longer. Whether it's a relationship, a job, or whatever the hell it may be, only you know your life. Is this ain't a personal reading? So the wheel of fortune is turning. So you gonna be out of this shit in a minute. The lovers, you making the choice. The lovers can be a choice sometimes. 
the sun is on the bottom of the deck. That's the happiest card in the deck. So it's going to make you happy to get out of this situation. Spirit saying, if it's going to make you happy to get out of this situation, Taurus, go ahead and do it. Stop stalling. What the hell is you stalling for? Get out of it. It ain't going to do you no good to sit there that much longer. I don't know. You know, why would you sit there? I don't know. Only you know. But hey, this could be a romantic relationship. Could be a partnership. Could be a business. But you're sick of that shit. And when I tell you, I feel sick of it. Energy. S-I-C-C-U-D. Sick of it. You're tired of it. It might be your own shit you're doing in that you don't like. The Ace of Pentacles. The universe gave you an opportunity to get the fuck on, okay? Whatever it is that you got to do, the universe is giving you a chance to go the hell away. You can do whatever it is that you want to do because you got the two of wands on the bottom of the deck. That's fire energy. That's action. You might have some fire in your chart. Um, Some fire energy in your chart. But pretty much saying the world is yours. Do what you want to do. You ain't got to just stand there and look. You know? The world in your hands. How many your business? How many your business? What else we got here? What else we have? King of Pentacles. There y'all go. Call the Taurus. Okay? Y'all all about y'all coins? How about y'all money? I just heard the world is your oyster. The world is your oyster. <laughs> so go ahead and do what you need to do. Tell them Pelicans on the bottom of the deck. Man, Taurus, what are you doing? You you look like you're building some kind of generational wealth. Um, Might be on the side of what the hell going on at this job or whatever. If you doing better by yourself than at that job, deuces. Deuces. Tell them bye. You ain't got to stay there. Maybe you waiting for the right time. Only you know why you doing it, bro. Only you know why you doing it, sis. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. We got the Seven of Pentacles. Y'all might be doing it because y'all helping somebody out. Or y'all like y'all helping some some might be a significant other, a lover, a friend, a family member. Y'all not doing this because y'all helping them out. But actually, Taurus, this is not making you happy. It's not making you happy. It's stressing you the fuck out. I feel that stressful ass energy. Energy don't lie. Look at that shit. Ten of swords, you feel like you beat the fuck down. Look at that. Stabbed all in the back. They done ripped your clothes off you. <laughs> and everything. This is not making you happy, Taurus. I don't care who you are doing it for. It is not making you happy. You gotta like, man. I don't know what to tell you. We all got free will. I get an advice card, an oracle card. And see what kind of advice spirit got for you. But this definitely feel like I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Okay? This might be your own bullshit. This might be bullshit with a job. This might be bullshit with a relationship. A business partnership. Something getting on your nerves. That's all I can say. So, it's getting on your nerves. Anything, out of, anything else out of this dick spirit? again on the bottom of the deck. So, don't hang yourself trying to damn be too much to somebody that they ain't being in your ass, Taurus. You got blessings coming to you for real. And and 
whoever or whatever this situation is just may knock you out of it if you don't realize what the his hell is going on. Okay? Let me get um an oracle card and see what the advice from spirit is for you. Because this is deep. This is deep. Deep, deep. And the person that you helping out might not be helping their damn self. And that's what's tiring you out. But shit. That's just me. I'll be like, look, if you ain't gonna help your damn self out. I mean, shit, how many damn chances can I give you? If you ain't gonna help yourself out. And I do believe that this is a romantic damn um, situation. Look, we got sensitive emotions and ready to love again. Okay, for some people, it's a relationship. It's over. You know what I'm saying? You is done with that person. You don't want to leave their ass hanging. But this, but God in the universe trying to give you some ten of cup energy. They're trying to give you a real relationship. Because this relationship that you in is empty as fuck. There ain't no love in it at all. The reason why I say I ain't no love in it, I feel it. And then this card say ready to love again. That means you done stop loving the motherfucker. Who, <laughs> whoever we talking about here, okay? The bottom of the deck, we got love life. Your love life, new or renewed romantic love is here for you. Okay, Taurus. You in your feelings, sensitive emotions. You in your feelings. This whole situation got you just perplexed in a mug, okay? And you just gonna have to let these, this person go. You ready to love again. The universe know you ready to love again. That's why they trying to give you this ten of cups. But it's like you gotta let this other situation go. You gotta let this other situation go. And even if this the person, this person is dependent on you, you know, sometimes you got to give a motherfucker an ultimatum. Sometimes you got to walk away. Sometimes you got to say, hey, look, you got to goddamn this amount of time before I'm gone. And that's being nice. Because you really don't have to do that. <laughs> you know? But I feel like you've been helping this person or this, is, uh, this situation, this job, or whatever. You've been helping this shit a long time. And he, you ain't re none of the benefits from it. Not hardly like you could, Reef, if you just go on and step out and leave that, leave that shit alone. But the will is turning in your favor, the will of fortune. Okay? There is some pinnacle energy here. That's all y'all about is y'all money and tangibility. Like having tangible stuff. And, and this situation keeping you from that. I'm actually rubbing my forehead. Because I'm like... That's that's the energy I'm feeling like y'all sick of it. Like I'm tired. I'm, I just I can't do this no more. So if you that damn tired, Taurus, hey, do what you gotta do. But you ready to love again, and the universe wanna give you that ten of cups, that happiness, that joy. Maybe, like I said, it could be another romantic partner because you're ready to love again. You're ready to love life again. You're ready to do some different shit. Okay, Taurus. Y'all got a special place in my heart. Because like I said, I'm a Taurus rising. So, um, just take care of yourself, Taurus, okay? And if this resonated with you, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. The more people I get to watch the particular sign readings, um, they let me know that I can do further readings for like Tauruses. You know what I'm saying? Um, Taurians. And it let me know not to waste my time, not to waste y'all's either, okay? Okay. Alright, so, um... I hope this helped you out a little bit, Taurus, at least. And it, these readings just confirm what you already know. Okay? All right, Taurus. I love all y'all. And I'll see y'all on the next vid.
Bye.